Good morning. I'm going to continue sharing from Psalm 139 and today's focus is on verse 13 and 14. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. On Thursday I had shared with you from the first six verses of this psalm and today the emphasis is going to be just on verses 13 and 14. And as verse 13 says, he created our inmost beings and he knit us together in our mother's womb. In other words, we are intimately known. And before we were known to our mothers, God was forming every intricate detail and fabric of who we are. We're crafted personally and purposefully to bring glory to God. Nothing about us is accidental. And if you had the opportunity of becoming a mother, you would have experienced love on another level. Yet we only carried our babies into this world. It was God who gave them life and who cares for them infinitely more. We are all loved by God in this way. Matthew Henry wrote, God has perfect knowledge of us and all our thoughts and actions are open before him. No, maybe we cannot control the thoughts popping into our minds all day long, every day, but we do have some say over what happens to them once they arrive. Scripture advises to take our thoughts captive, and some of the thoughts that are enter our minds are absolutely crazy. But God does see every one of them. He also knows our words before we let them exit our mouths. He knows what we will do. He has numbered our days. We are intimately known by God, not just outwardly, but inwardly. When the heart is mentioned in scripture, it often refers to the seat of our souls and the place of which we make decisions and have our beliefs. God is there. He is not surprised by our physical or mental struggles. Thank God his mercies and his grace are available to us through Jesus Christ every day. Verse 14 goes on to say, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. We were made with purpose to bring glory to God. Each talent, gift and occupation have a place in the kingdom of God. According to the BibleStudyTools.com, wonderfully means to be distinct, marked out, be separated, be distinguished. We aren't made wonderful in the eyes of the world, but from the heart of God, to bring glory to his name. We have each been intentionally set apart, different from the world. In the midst of daily life, we do well to remind ourselves of the Good Shepherd's knowledge and provision. Even though David penned this psalm before Jesus walked the earth, Everything in scripture points to God's greatest expression of love for us in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We can read this psalm knowing Jesus has defeated death and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Those who follow Christ will be welcomed into heaven for eternity upon death on this earth. God does move through our earthly lives to spread the gospel and his desire is not to leave behind even one. God bless you, have a great day and I will see you now in August. God bless.